Red Solvine was born Woodrow Wilson Solvine in 1917 in Charleston, West Virginia, earning the nickname Red because of his reddish-brown hair. He had two brothers and two sisters. Sylvine was taught to play guitar by his mother. His first venture into music was with his childhood friend, Johnny Bales, with whom he performed as Smiling and Red, the Singing Sailors. In the Country Music Review, Jim Pike's Carolina Tar Heels, on WWVA AM in Wheeling, West Virginia. Faced with limited success, Bales left to perform as part of the Bales Brothers. Sylvine got married and continued to sing on Charleston radio while holding down a job as a supervisor of a hosiery factory. With the encouragement of Bales, Sylvine formed the Echo Valley Boys. After a year of performing in West Virginia, Sylvine moved to Shreveport, Louisiana, where the Bales brothers were performing on KWKH AM. Sylvine's own early morning show was not popular, but he gained greater exposure performing on the famed KWKH radio program, Louisiana Hayride. One of his co-stars was Hank Williams, who steered Sylvine towards a better time slot at WSFA in Montgomery, Alabama and toward a contract with MGM Records in 1949. Now that same year, Sylvine replaced Williams on the Louisiana Hayride when Williams jumped over to the Grand Old Opry. Another Louisiana Hayride co-star who helped Sylvine was country music legend Webb Pierce, who convinced Sylvine to lead his Wondering Boys band and help him towards a contract with Decca in 1954. The following year, Sovine cut a duet with Goldie Hill, Are You Mine, which peaked in the top 15, and in 1956 he had his first number one hit when he duetted with Pierce on a cover of George Jones' Why Baby Why. Sovine had two other top five singles that year and became a member of the Grand Old Opry. After recording close to 50 sides with Decca by 1959, Sovine signed to Starday Records and began touring the club circuit as a solo act. That same year, Sovine was seriously injured in a car accident that claimed the life of two of his band members, Douglas Nix and Johnny Morris. In 1961, a song copyrighted in 1955 by Sovine and co-writer Dale No, became a sizable hit on the pop chart. The tune was the ballad Missing You, arranged in countrypolitan style, and was recorded by Ray Peterson for his own Dunes label. Missing You became a number 29 Billboard Top 100 hit. In the fall, it peaked at number 7 on Billboard's adult contemporary chart. In 1963, Sovine passed on the helping hand given him by older performers when he heard the singing of minor league baseball player Charlie Pride and suggested that he move to Nashville, Tennessee. Sovine opened doors for Pride at Pierce's Cedarwood Publishing, but his own career had stalled. Dream House for Sale, which reached number 22 in 1964, came nearly eight years after his last hit. In 1965, Sovine found his niche when he recorded Giddy Up Go, which, like most of his other trucker hits, he co-wrote with Tommy Hill. It is spoken rather than sung, as the words of an older long-distance truck driver who rediscovers his long-lost son driving another truck on the same highway. Minnie Pearl released an answer song titled Giddy Up Go Answer. Sovine's version of the song spent six weeks atop the country charts and crossed over to the pop charts. Other truck driving hits followed, including Phantom 309, a tale of a hitchhiker who ops a ride from a trucker, 
who turns out to be the ghost of a man who died years ago, giving his life to save a school bus full of children. This story was later adapted by singer-songwriter Tom Waits, who performed Big Joe in Phantom 309 during his Nighthawks at the diner recordings. Waits' version of this song was covered by Archers of Love on the 1995 tribute album Step Right Up, the songs of Tom Waits. Musician Steve Flett named a recording project after the song. The song was originally written and recorded by Tommy Fail. Teddy Bear, the tale of a disabled boy who lost his truck driver father in a highway accident, and keeps his CB radio base as his only companion. Little Joe, a tale of a trucker, and his devoted canine friend, which became his last hit. This last story features the teddy bear character, who can now walk. Now, in his personal life, Sovine was married to Norma Seard, who died on June 4, 1976, at the age of 57. On April 4, 1980, Sovine suffered a heart attack while driving in southern Nashville, causing him to run a red light and strike an oncoming vehicle. He and the other driver, 25-year-old Edgar Prim, were transferred to St. Thomas Hospital. While Prim was treated and released for minor facial injuries, Sovine died shortly after his arrival. According to a preliminary autopsy, Sovine sustained massive abdominal bleeding caused by a lacerated spleen and liver and fractured ribs and sternum. Okay, that's the end of our video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you like this type of video and want us to keep producing them, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching.